guys, welcome to Visual Studio Applications, teaching you some programs that you can create in Visual Studio that are simple, yet you learn some valuable techniques in coding. Today we're going to code a temperature converter. It's going to first convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, and if we press the switch button, it'll convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So how about we get started? We're going to start off with um, the convert Let's double click that. Uh, first we need to do a couple of variables and uh, an import statement. So let's uh, import first. Imports system dot text dot regular expressions. This will allow us to use what's called rejects and you'll see that in a little bit. Also up here before the click method we need to declare some global variables. Um, private is convert as boolean equals true and private is cell for celsius as boolean equals true you will see these um, used in a little bit um, let's go ahead and work on the button convert so let's first check if we're converting to um, if we're converting or we are clearing um, if we are uh, if is convert so we are converting the button will be used in two different ways it'll use be used to convert and it'll be used to clear uh, multi-function button you'll see how that works here in a little bit so if is convert equals true which is where it starts out as then we also check if is celsius so if we are converting from celsius to fahrenheit then celsius will be true if we're converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius will be false. That's how we work that. And you'll see it here once we get into the code. Um, we're going to dim a new variable, cell text equals text cell dot text. Now we're going to use the rejects. Uh, if not rejects dot is match. Oops, I type new. If not rejects is match. What rejects is match does is it'll um, evaluate a string and make sure that only the characters that you specify are in that string. If any other characters are in there that you did not say, hey, I want this character, it will throw an error. Um, so let's add the input, input string, which is cell text, and the string, uh, the characters that we want. So type uh, caret bracket 0-9 space bracket and a plus sign and the dot the period what that will allow is it'll allow um, double values so you can use um, actually no I don't need that um, we just need 0 through 9 because a period will be allowed should be allowed and then so this is if there is other characters in there other than 0 through 9 um, we are going to th throw an error. So message box dot show. Oops, I guess I need my quotation marks. Please enter only numbers for the temperature. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if everything entered in the text box was within your parameters, then we will dim a new variable. Temp far as double and also dip dim a temp cell as double and initialize that to text cell dot text so we're reinitializing a new variable to the text as a double just so that we can evaluate it with more depth um, we're going to work on our math equation here. So temp far equals, here's the math equation to convert Celsius to temperature, uh, to Fahrenheit. 9 times temp cell divided by 5 plus 32. And that will convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Alright, so now we will enter in our 
values to the text boxes. So let's first update the text cell. What this will do, you'll see here in a second, it will first round the um, the text so that you can only have two uh, two decimal points. So temp cell two. There's where the two cell two decimal points come in. And we're going to uh, add a a degree symbol so that it looks a little bit more authentic. Um, so how we're going to do that is we're going to type C H R W and then type in the code for the degree but uh, de degree character so zero one seven six and then we're going to add a C for Celsius and that's the Celsius text box and then we're going to do the same for the Fahrenheit text box math dot round and we're going to use temp far two decimal places oops, two decimal places and a space and chrw 0176 and f not g f there we go all right so that ends that so now we're going to say else if is cell uh, else if not is cell so this we are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so we're doing it backwards. Um, the method is fairly the same, so I'm simply going to copy and paste. Copy, paste. We're going to change a couple of things here. We're going to put this one. We're going to leave the name of the text box is the same, so try not to get confused. If we are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the Fahrenheit text box is actually the text Celsius and the Celsius text box is actually the Fahrenheit text box. So just try not to get confused. And we're going to change this to text uh, temp cell. The equation is a bit different. We're going to do temp far minus 32 times 5 and divided by 9. That's the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And this is going to stay the same, except we're going to change that to far and this to cell. So it, it's flipped. Instead of Celsius being on the top, it's all on the bottom. But the name of it is still Fahrenheit. OK, now we are going to, after all that conversion is done and we put the values into their text boxes, we're going to change the text, uh, text of the button convert to clear and change the is convert value to true all right so now we're going to put in our else if not is convert which means it's actually clearing then we will simply clear the text boxes dot clear text fair dot clear and change the name of the button convert to convert and is convert to true. And I made a mistake here. This is convert needs to be false. This is convert needs to be false because we are actually clearing, not, f not converting. So that was my mistake. Hopefully you're still on track here. Okay, so we've got the button convert finished. So this will convert. Um, now we need to code the switch button. The switch button is a pretty simple. All we need to do is make sure that the text boxes will clear themselves. Uh, clear and text far dot clear. All right. We are going to change the button of the uh, text of the button convert to convert automatically just in case and these two go hand in hand whenever you're changing the text for the convert button you need to change the is convert variable all right so then we're going to evaluate the is cell variable to see if we are converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius so if we're converting from 
Celsius to Fahrenheit, as we're going to do right now, is cell equals false. And I forgot to name the labels here. So let me do that real quick. This is going to be LVL cell. And this is going to be LVL var. Just so that it makes it a little bit easier in coding. LVL cell is actually going to be Fahrenheit temperature. And, oh, I <laughs> herped her text. Don't make silly mistakes like I do. Text equals Celsius temperature. All right, so then we're going to evaluate it again, else if not is cell, so now we are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, is cell equals false. Label cell.text will be Celsius, I can't spell temperature and LBL far dot text equals Fahrenheit temperature. Alright. Pretty simple, right? Alright, one last thing to code is this exit button. Pretty simple. Me dot close and end. That will just end the program. Let me change this real quick so that these mirror each other. Fahrenheit. Come on. Temperature. Perfect. Now let's debug and make sure this all works correct. We're going to enter a Celsius temperature of 15.5. Convert. So notice how it changes. It has the degree symbol and the Celsius. And then it gives the equivalent and this changes to clear, clear, and it works. Okay, now let's uh, switch it. So now it's Fahrenheit temperature and Celsius temperature. Going to go 32 just to make it simple. Convert, zero degrees. Ah, see, notice here I forgot to change these. Make sure that works, perfect. Okay, so one small little bug and everything goes haywire. So right here, this needs to change to F, and this needs to change to C. It's because I copy-pasted it. But otherwise, other than that, it works perfectly for what we want. So now you just made a simple temperature converter program that will convert first Celsius to Fahrenheit, and if you press the switch button, it will convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Pretty easy, right? On the next tutorial, you'll see how to do it in C Sharp if you prefer C Sharp over Visual Basic. Um, thank you for watching. The code will be posted on my website shortly after the uploaded the video will be uploaded. Make sure you come by. There's tutorials, downloads, how to's, all for your coding needs. Thanks for watching Visual Basic and Visual C Sharp. So it's Visual Studio applications.